everybody! Hope everyone is doing well as always. That's what Zoo would say though. Uh, my name is Una, for those of you who don't know who I am though. Uh, and I'm by myself today. Uh, Zuli has some busy things to do uh, this time though. But she'll be back later though to join me for the other one we'll do later. Um, but um, we're going to give you guys a quick update on the severe weather though. Yesterday we had a very active severe weather where we had tons of tornado reports and all severe thunderstorm. And they had heard that we had over 220 something severe thunderstorm warnings and over 100 tornado warnings. And I'll show you on the chart right now. Okay, so here's a look at the all the warnings that starting from the 16th all the way up to 9 a.m. today. So, 206 of them are severe thunderstorm warnings. The ones that you see in yellow, so there's a whole lot of yellow around here. Starting from all up to Texas, all the way up to near Alabama, Georgia. And then 99 of them were tornado warnings, so almost 100 though. And not much tornado warnings over here though, but the one that has the most is right over here near Alabama, and Mississippi, those areas have the most tornado warnings, apparently. So I, I guess that area must have been a major. That's why it was a tour count of nine yesterday, though, for that, though. And these are the storm reports that we have over the past 48 hours. So if you can see the red ones, the red ones indicate tornadoes. So there were, like, about more than 20 tornado reports because of that, though. There were tons of wind, wind damage, and hail reports as well, though, throughout this whole entire severe. So that's why... We were kind of busy, though. Uh, Zuli and Molly were actually very busy that night, though. I mean, Zul Molly only stayed up till 1 a.m., and Zuli stayed up till 3, though, and, and then I came in. So I woke up at, like, 3 in the morning, I guess, to do all this, though. So I'm kind of really busy today. All right, so this is right now. It's at 12.55. Not much activity right now, though. We do have one tornado watch. That's going to go until 6 o'clock, though. And I believe that's the only one we have for now, though. But we could get more, though. But... It's not going to be that intense than yesterday, so let's take a look. So this is what we're seeing today, though. So no very likely this time, though. So at least at least that's one good thing, though. That is toned down, at least, though. But yesterday, we had up to the levels very likely in extreme. You know, the white ones and the purple ones. So yeah, those were really, you know, that, that was in the Cape really dangerous. And that explains why yesterday we had a PDS tornado watch in the Alabama area. So, but I hope there aren't any PDS this time, though. I don't think we are going to, most likely, because um, it's not going to be that intense today. So, even though the southeast is already getting severe thunderstorms, though, the northeast is actually getting rain as well, though. So, let's take a look at the actual radar to see uh, what the northeast is like. All right, everybody. So, this is the northeast area as of 112. So, you can see here that we are seeing lots of rain going on. The, the red marks mark heavy rain, though. There's no severe weather in those areas, though. Those are just regular rain, though. So we did have some regular rain in uh, in our area as well, though. We did witness the rain, though, today. Uh, so if we can take a look at the future cast, though. Uh, let's do that, though. So we're looking at the northeast, by the way. So rain is still continuing for, like, the northern part, though. We can see some snow. You see the blue? Yeah, there is some snow coming, though, for some areas, though. But I think it is going to start to be... It, it is going to begin toning down, though, as we get through the evening hours. Okay, so now we're looking at the southeast area. We're going to do the future cast as well. So we can still see the, the line of thunderstorms possibly in Florida. So it is going to begin to disappear, though. But the Carolinas are going to start to form, though. So you can see the red right here. Yeah, so you can see that as well. And I can see some red here in the Virginia area, West Virginia. And so, like, by 718, it'll start to be like this, though. I'll have to wait till later to see how the rest of it's going to be like, though. But that's going to be what we're going to see later. And we're not in spring yet, though. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and we couldn't believe that there was going to be severe weather on St. Patrick's Day, though. And we're not even in spring yet, though. Spring doesn't start till like, at least until March 20th, though. I mean, I did hear that meteorological spring began March 1st, though. So I think that explains why uh, we had severe weather, though. I mean, there was severe weather before that, though. We did have it once in January. There was once in February, though. So it could happen pretty much in any month, though. Like, back in November, we, we had severe weather here, though, even though... Um, it was the fall season though, so I heard they, so it could happen at any time though. It, it depends on like, you know, how much energy it takes for, to make it become thunderstorm and for tornadoes to form and all that. Alright, so that's gonna conclude the fourth vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I think that the next vlog will probably be the last one that we're going to do because, um, by tomorrow the storms will probably be already be done for, so. Because today they said there's going to be the second day of severe weather. Outbreak. And I think that's going to be it, though. I don't think there's going to be any more severe weather tomorrow, though. So I think that's going to include this round, though. And that's going to be good, though. I mean, at least today is not going to be that intense than yesterday, though. Because yesterday was more intense, though. But remember, as always, try to stay safe. Make sure you have a way to get your alerts. 
whether it's through the radio or smartphone, because if because without electricity, you won't be able to see the TV. All right, so see you later, everyone. Zuli will join me later tonight.